It was starting on my left side, my left side under like my rib cage, um, and then it migrated down my left leg. So now I have um, swollen knee, swollen ankle, all my joints ache, my main joints ache really bad, especially when I'm trying to, even in resting, um, and then my legs swell really, really bad. Just the left side? Yeah, it starts on the, everything starts on the left side, and then if I'm active, like standing too long, it migrates to the to the right. So then the right leg is, is swelling and edema around my ankle bones. And inflammation on my feet. And how long has it been going on this pain? It got worse, I'd say like in, um, trying to think when I went to the hospital and my legs started wobbling. I can't remember the date, but it probably was like 2020. Oh, so for two years, it got worse. Yeah. And you have pain for how many years? This really bad pain has been going on for like, it's 2022, right? Since like 2021, where it's been a lot of, a lot of bed, like I've been stuck in the bed. Well, you know, through the gold card, I've gotten different doctors. Uh, the last time I went to the doctor was um, 2021. I went to the same day clinic. That's right. Yeah. And they gave you uh, some relaxer? Yeah. Same day clinic is not the, you know, it's not the urgent care clinic. Mm. Uh, it's good to, you know, come in the clinic, have exam done, and yeah. uh, maybe some studies done, and yeah. uh, best is, uh, of course, I mean, start with x-rays, because, of course, uh, before MRI, they usually want us to get x-rays before we do MRI, okay. and, uh, of course, we need exam to be documented to how your circulation is, right. how your nerve cord. So, uh, I mean, I can always uh, get your x-rays on uh, this visit. And okay. for MRI also, they want you to be enrolled in physical therapy too. Okay. So if you can um, call and uh, get a point you know, in that. And what medicines besides muscle relaxer, have you tried the nerve pain like gabapentin or neurontin? Um, no, um, only thing, if you look in the, if you look in the, um, chart when I had the virus in December, they gave me some kind of inf inflammation shot that really helped me, and it did not give me side effects, like any side effects, it really helped my inflammation, I don't know what it was. The same day clinic doctor gave you? Uh, no, it was at LBJ Hospital when I had the virus. Because what doctor, um, I forget how to pronounce her name, at the same day clinic gave me, I haven't taken because I don't have a PCP. She gave me like a methoprednisone. I never took any of that because I don't have a, P, a PCP and I know how my body is extremely sensitive. All I take is a Benadryl and four A-leaves, which really doesn't help. It helps a little bit with my, my nervousness because when the pain gets so bad, like it is, like right now, it's hard to hold the phone. I drop things a lot, you know, and the fatigue. Yeah, I see you were given Toradol shot. Uh, yes. 30 milligrams. That helped me a lot, and I had no side effects. Okay, so that is easy, actually. I mean, I can order it, and my okay. nurse can bring you back in the clinic to give you that to rent. Uh, she will let you know once she calls you. Okay. Uh, on 10th medicine visit, if I order, if they have appointment right now, they will bring you in. Because so they have to have slot, uh, like a nurse visit slot. Okay? Right. So we will call you. Uh, so if it's anything like close to that as far as pill form, 
the Zeniflex, like I said, it's, it talked about dizziness, and I go through that already. Like dizziness. That's what I'm saying. I didn't. I, the doctor didn't ask me. I don't. I muscle relaxers is stuff that's gonna make me more. You know what I mean? So I don't take that because it's hard to walk and stay stable. I did used to get the 500 milligram naproxen from the from um, the clinic because the A leaf doesn't do anything. This is this is what I take. It doesn't help me at all. Prescription friends are a little bit stronger than those uh, over the counter leaves and Advil. Yeah, I know the Proxen, the Naproxen 500 milligram I used to get, it did work for me. I take one. Yeah, I know. Okay. So I put it in there. Uh, you can take up to two a day, but if one is helping, of course, you don't want to take that. Yeah, for my stomach. They say it would mess with your stomach. Yes. Yeah. So every medicine comes with side effects. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and make sure to take it with food. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So with meals, um, it lowers your acidity. So. Yeah. And then I was telling the doctor, like when I came in, the last visit when I came in just recently, I never got to see the doctor, but I was telling her about my rash that I get on my face. And it mostly comes out really, really red, red, red and flame when I'm like stressed, but it's like a rash and my skin is very like rough. I never had acne problems ever, but my, my cheeks get so red. The rash problem is probably, being, that's what I'm saying, everything is like a blur to me, but it's been at least about a year. It's been, a, yeah, because we're in 2022. Uh, you have pictures of your rash? Yes, I have pictures of my swelling and everything. I've been, that, uh, you know, Document. to, uh, the, uh, huh? Document. Yeah, that's the word, documenting everything. Because, like, right now my legs are not too swollen, but my feet look red. right now it's just slightly but then it gets really red like like I took blush and just circles on my face and I no they always act like they don't see it and it's so obvious on my face and no doctor can see it and you can see it <laughs> that's what I've been going through <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's why I started taking pictures you know because everything swells, my joints, my hands. Have they ever ch checked for lupus and stuff? They never did know. The last time I got blood work done um, was when I had the virus. And actually in 2019, because yeah. you have not come into the clinic, Miss Elizabeth. No, no, no. It's not that at all. It's, but they don't give me gold card. Okay, so that's not mine. No, no, not you your fault. I'm saying that I, but then the doctors, like I had Okioma. Uh, Longe just a couple of days. She didn't do any of the things you're doing for me right now. She didn't ask no questions. She didn't ask me about the rash. I mean, nothing. That's what's been happening to me. So I'm glad I called back and I got you. Once I get the gold card, I can never get a good doctor. That's what's happening with me. That's all the doctors are. <laughs> That's terrible. Unfortunately. 
That's terrible. Maybe the, maybe the private insurance will help. <laughs> that, that's what people say. <laughs> that's what people say. But I fought for disability since I, 2016. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doctor too, so. Yeah. It's crazy, but she didn't ask me nothing. I told her, I said, can you look at my blood work? It said that I had low white blood cells and stuff. Like, why would that happen? Could it be? That was, how long ago was it? It was in 2019. No, no, no. 2019. No, no, no. I got the virus in 2021. And I asked them. They, when they kept calling me when I was home, but I was so sick, I couldn't talk to nobody. And I was like, why? Wow. Once I looked at my blood work, I just looked at it. I didn't even know that I had the spine issue. The doctor told me I was fine. That's why you're, 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 you can't believe it, but this has really happened to me. She said, no, Ms. Fontenot, your, your x-ray looks good. And because I filed for disability, I had to fire the lawyer. I started again. And then I looked at my records and I said, how come she didn't tell me about my spine in 2019? because I was not looking into things deeper. And that's why um, I was looking at my blood results. And I said, why was my white blood cell so, so low? I said, could that be because I had that virus? I asked Mungay two days ago and she's like, oh no, that's normal, that's normal. I was like, I need more, I told her, I said, I need more blood work. Oh, okay, I'll try to get you an appointment with me. And I was like, you should ask me that all automatically. Like, I don't understand. Okay, okay, I don't Okay. And, Open this. Uh, and also uh, uh, sugar and cholesterol, which as a general doctor, uh, uh, we can handle. And if your symptoms are not controlled by primary care doctor, yeah, there's always uh, a specialist there which we can send you. But uh, it will be good if you make a in clinic appointment. Okay. 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 So can I so can I ask for you for the in clinic appointment? Yeah, you can, when you call, you can always ask for me. Okay, okay. Okay. So, are we going to hang up and my nurse is going to give you a call? Okay. Get your that appointment. Okay. And the x-rays and the, the Durham appointment, okay? Okay, and so what about the prescriptions? Is that going to be there at the Acres Home Clinic? At Acres Home Clinic, okay. yes. Or if you want me to send it anywhere else, I can. Okay, no, that'll be fine. Yeah, because I think Harris Health will allow them to mail it to you. I just have to speak to the pharmacy. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.